I'm sure you guys have heard about the recent passing of Technoblade, unfortunately. Great YouTuber, I'll be completely honest, I wasn't the biggest fan. You know, I wasn't watching him constantly, but every single video I saw of the guy, you know, he was funny and had, you know, a positive outlook on life. And his farewell video was really hard for me to watch. It's one of the biggest videos on YouTube recently, like 60 million views in five days. And, uh, you know, that was a great thing for a little nice farewell to his family, especially because in that video he was promoting merch that would help continue to financially support his family. So I hope he got a lot of money off that. Rest in peace, Technoblade. But the unfortunate part about that is now that Technoblade has passed and it's getting all this attention, it brings in all the YouTube rats. And that's just the unfortunate part about it. So today we're going to be talking about this youtuber it's owen who had his youtube channel deleted for clickbaiting technoblade's death and he had over three and a half million subscribers i'm taking a look at my analytics and only like two percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel consider subscribing it's free and you can always change your mind later but yeah it recently came out that it's owen had his youtube channel terminated he tweeted this out at team youtube my youtube channel with 3.5 million subs just got terminated please help me get get it back i'm so depressed right now and i don't know what to do and this was after he posted a click baiting video about technoblades passing and you know what i was prepared to come on here and even partially defend him because even though it's completely disgusting that he would clickbait Technoblade's death, I thought, oh, well, maybe it was just a first time mistake. You know, you're supposed to have a three time strike. So, you know, if you only make one of the three mistakes and you get your YouTube channel terminated, it doesn't sound fair. But that was before I looked into the history of his channel. And oh my God, it just, it's some of the worst YouTube clickbait of all time. You know, pretty much just fake videos. And I don't know how someone that could make so much fake content and clickbait crap could have over 3 million subscribers. They need to simply come here and subscribe to me. Yeah, I thought, oh, well, maybe it was just his first mistake and they should apply their guidelines fairly. Like um, recently, the Ackman situation, that was his like first or first mistake or, or quote unquote mistake on YouTube's end and they demonetized his entire channel. Channel and I think he'll be able to reapply, but who knows about that? But yeah, this guy Owen, it's a big W for YouTube, and they're finally I, I I still kind of on that train that they don't apply their guidelines fairly because I remember YouTubers like J Station. If you don't know who J Station is, he pretty much clickbaits every single celebrity who dies. You know, the exact same day that the celebrity passes away, he'll go oh calling them at 3 a.m. And I'm pretty sure he made his YouTube channel monetized. And it was like that for years and YouTube didn't do anything about it because, you know, they were making him probably a ton of money. But, you know, now that it's against Technoblade, they uh, they removed this guy in one video. And I agree with it. I mean, you know, can, when you look at this other guy's, this Owen guy's other YouTube content, it was 100% justified in what they did. I just, I still wish they would more fairly apply these rules you know what i mean because owen it's owen definitely deserved to have his youtube channel terminated but you know act man obviously didn't so it's like it's too much i i can't give youtube 100 percent credit because it's obviously such a big stretch of you know right and wrong and they pretty consistently get things wrong unfortunately but you know as long as they keep up this trend of terminating these clickbaiting dicks uh you know that are clickbaiting technoblade now, I hope this video doesn't come off as, you know, clickbait for Technoblade, but, you know, I thought this was a really important topic to talk about. I mean, just because you can get views on this kind of topic doesn't mean you should. I mean, who cares if you're getting views and, you know, you're making money if your entire reputation is ruined and, you know, you look like a terrible person. I mean, this guy literally had his three and a half million YouTube channel deleted. I mean, that was probably making him a good like a lot of money i mean it looked like he was getting solid views too like 100 or 200 thousand a video and he was uploading like daily so realistically this guy was probably making over a hundred thousand dollars off youtube every single year with his three and a half million youtube channel and he got terminated just for making a stupid clickbait video over a 
over Technoblade's passing. And uh, YouTube held their ground. I mean, he really, yeah, what his video was, it was pretty much uh, a clickbaited video of Mr. Beast, quote unquote, finally saying goodbye to Technoblade. And as far as I know, this is completely fake. And uh, I don't think Mr. Beast has addressed the situation. Fortunately, you know what? I don't think they. Um, you know, I'm sure Mr. Beast might have, but this was before he came out with anything. So, yeah, it's like this first day that they announced Technoblade has passed and he's making these clickbait YouTubers. Oh, Mr. Beast and Technoblade. And it's like, was it really worth it, man? I mean, that's a lot of money. Like I said, he's probably he probably made like $100,000 a year. And all he would have to do was shut up and not talk about this situation. He could have went on clickbaiting and YouTube probably wouldn't have had a problem with him. Because, you know, they're splitting the money. But, yeah. He tweeted on it. He, he tweeted out that it was like, oh, yeah, my YouTube channel got deleted. And I'm super depressed about it. You know, he's trying to get sympathy points for it, Even though he know what he did was wrong. And then... Finally, he talked with YouTube's team and they said, and we've got an update. We've reviewed your account and confirmed that your channel was correctly suspended due to explicit content. Note that you will not be able to access or create any other YouTube channels, which is just, you know, it is a W for YouTube. I mean, uh, honest, unfortunately, they've been taking a lot of L's recently, you know, with like the Ackman situation, but this is a W and I'll have to give it to them. This guy did not deserve to be on YouTube with this horrible content. And you know what? I'm not even, it's not even just bad content. You know what I mean? Like it's malicious content. Bad content should be allowed on YouTube, you know, just because, you know, I guess the they can't really restrict that but he was definitely making malicious content where he was clickbaiting you know people's deaths and you know youtube confirmed it but this guy has already breaking the rules he deleted all of his tweets to team youtube talking about his channel being deleted and he already started a new youtube channel where he's posting his old clickbait crap and you know because what else are you supposed to do this is probably all this guy's done for like the past couple of years so that's his first thing to do but that's against TOS if you didn't know if your channel is terminated by YouTube you, you know they even say it in this tweet note that you will not be able to access or create any other YouTube channel it's against TOS to create another YouTube channel while your other one is you know terminated or against community guidelines so of course you know he's already breaking TOS by coming back and it's just an unfortunate situation all around. Like, this guy should not have made this video. I mean, I didn't know Technoblade, but he was a big creator and he meant a lot of... He meant a lot to a lot of people that watched his content. And uh, I definitely think he shouldn't be making this these kind of clickbait videos like i said you know they're making unfortunately these technoblade videos are getting millions and millions of views obviously because a lot of people cared about this guy i mean after his passing you know his video got like 60 million views and i think he's gained like 3 million subscribers or something but you know all these youtube channels that are clickbaiting technoblade stuff it just it doesn't feel right and i definitely think there should be some repercussions for these kind of things but uh hey let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and i'll see you in the next one